Tonight we have a story of how everything can change in a moment when people can be encouraged to let go of their fear and take a chance. Andrea Moorhead met a woman who was faced with a life-altering diagnosis that she says not only saved her life, but also set her up for success. Business-minded people, they call it a risk. Where I'm a person of faith, I call it a faith walk. Lucretia Allen is living out that motto, making treats for the sweet tooth. I make sweet potato pies, cobblers, 3D cakes. And cookies. She was one of the food vendors during the 2012 Super Bowl in Indianapolis. Over 2,000 cookies, just different types of cookies that wow. represented each NFL group. But her journey to get to the culinary game goes back to 2004. The accountant got a phone call from the doctor with a potential Lyme disease diagnosis. If I'm going to die, I want to do what makes me happy. That made her rethink her life's purpose. So she followed her passion and went to culinary school. I stepped out on faith. I believe I could do this on my own. That's it. But other than that, I have to market myself. I have to say, hey, I'm here. With a recent move to busy West 86th Street, her business, Risha Cakes, continues to grow. And so, too, is her fan base for her caramel cake, inspired by her husband, Angelo. The caramel mixed in with the, the yellow cake with the butter in it. So it's... It melts in your mouth. Lucretia decided to take another risk when she entered a good housekeeping contest. Out of thousands of entries, she was a finalist to take her product to the Sunshine State and the Home Shopping Network. The judges were wowed. He was like, so where are you from? And I was like, I'm from the Indianapolis racing capital of the world. And he was like, sold. <laughs> and he said, sold because? Yeah, because he was from Ben Davis. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, that and that's where me and my husband graduated from. And the company president? He loved it. He really, really loved it. The Allens got some great feedback after the presentation. When I sat down, he walked up to me and he was like, you could be like David's Cookies. That's a multi-million dollar business. I was like, oh, thank you. She didn't win the contest. But HSN still wants you. They want you to become a partner. And now she's preparing to make her national debut selling her caramel cake. We can do anything from 500 items to 10,000. So get ready to hear her introduction line on HSN this year. This is just like what your grandma used to make with a little extra love, my love. She says it's the love from her family that motivates her to keep shooting for the stars. I am their arrow. I shoot them in whatever direction they want to go. So I show them that it can be done. I don't ask them anything more than I have done myself. Oh, well, we wish her well. We wish Andrea had brought us samples oh, of the yes. cake. We're going to follow up on that trip to the doctor. She was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, but she says she's going to push on. And Andrea is going to stay connected with her and keep us updated on the caramel cake and its debut on the Home Shopping Network. You know, I've never